All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the front end of this 63. Here we go. All right, here's what we're looking at. Got the frame all glossed up, chassis black. The firewall, I went with the flat black, as you can see. If a man wanted to paint it one day, he won't have to worry about the firewall. Just go ahead and keep it flat, paint it whatever he wanted to paint it on the outside. Went all up under the cab, got it all undercoated real good. So, and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go ahead with disc brakes on the front. Went on and got everything I needed for the disc brakes. Went with a two and a half drop spindle, like I put on my red pickup. But I'm keeping the original stock springs, so it's still giving me my two four drop. Got the four inch on the back. It's gonna be probably about a half inch lower than really what I'm wanting or needing because I'm uh, two and a half drop spindles, but I think we'll be all right. I'll check it out once we get to going. Uh, there's the calibers. Got my brakes. My original spindles, six lug that I had on my red truck to start with before I, before I went uh, five lug. So that, my, my rotors, I mean, so got the rotors, six lug, already had them. I'm gonna do all the ball joints, tip and arm, idle arm. Everything to the front end. I had to go with a, had to take back my other master cylinder because I had it set up for drum drum. Now I'm going disc brake drum, so had to get another master cylinder, the portion valve. There's my lines, brake lines, everything to do what I got to do. Took it to a machine shop up the road. Guy I know, he went on and pressed the ball joints in for me. So we're good to go. Let's get started. Here we go. All right, going to go ahead and put the new shaft in on the upper control arm, bushings, seals. Go ahead and keep it centered, torque everything down. All right, here we go. We'll go ahead and tighten these down. Put me a little zip tie out here, a little reference line to keep this thing dead center. I'll go ahead and uh, tighten it up. the upper ball joint. All right, here's what we look like after getting the ball joints in on the upper control arms. Right and left. Go ahead with the lower control arms. Got both of them ready to go. A few bolts. Grease fittings. Here we go. All right, another evening after work, and I'm back at it. We'll get them lower control arms put in.
okay. I ain't gonna do it till it clicks anyway. I won't hit it on till it clicks. Yeah. Hear it click? Yeah. That was the torque. All right, the upper control arm. I'm going back in with the same shims that come out. Should be good to go. Alright, same thing on the driver's side. I'm using the same shims that come out. All right, got a good Saturday to mess around with the truck. I'm gonna go and get this spring put in, get my spindle put on, put the jack under there, of course, and get it uh, jacked up in place, put the bolt on it. Got me a wall built up here, sitting on the frame. Screwed into the joist. Just something pretty simple to keep the frame from moving up. When I jack this lower end up here, that frame won't budge a bit, so we'll be good to go. The spring's gonna sit inside this little groove right here. And this lower control arm right there, the bottom of that spring will set in there. Of course, the top's got a, a groove up in this cross member here to set in. Let's get started. Top. Okay, it's good. Good to go. That's keeping that truck from going in there right there at the wall. Yeah. How much?
All right, same thing I did to the right side. I'm gonna put the spring in right down here. There's a groove here that I'm following. I'll set it right on top of there. And of course, match it in at the top the same way. All right, this early classic kit that I got here uh, comes with some pretty good instructions right here to go by. Shows you what to tighten down the upper and lower ball joint, this and that, the torque on it, so that helps. Got to go and get the dust shield put on. Got my bearings, seals, grease, and go ahead with that. I forgot to order my stops, upper and lower bump stops there, so. I'll get those on later. So yeah, let's go ahead and get to going.
Okay, here we go. That's what we're looking at. Went on and put the tires on there for now. Got the shocks on there. Still got to get my bump stops. That's what we're looking at. I'll go ahead and uh, get my front end, my steering rods and all that on there, hot alarm, pitman arm and everything. I'll catch that later. I just got my brake lines laid to the side too for now until I do all my brakes, master cylinder and all that. So. But that's going to do it for now. I'll catch you on the next one. Take it easy.